was asked to go to UCC, so Connecticut, um, from Mick Darcy, who's a guy who knows my dad and stuff like that and knows knew me as a player in Ireland. And then he asked me to go in, I think it was 2012, just after I'd finished school, secondary school. I said, I'm, I'm too young, don't think I'm ready yet, whatever. Stayed a bit longer. And then dad was like, right, okay. Like, just go to college in Ireland, like focus on what you want to do. And then maybe when you're a bit more mature, you can go away, going abroad. And so I've come to the decision then when Mark Krikorian from Florida State got in contact with me in 2013, saying that Mick Darcy had passed on my details um, from Connecticut because he obviously said to him, listen, I need a left back or a centre back. Do you know anybody? And then Mick's obviously told him about me. So, yeah, it was quite cool. I was probably about 17 when I thought, actually, I can probably do this as a career um, where I wanted to, you know, step a bit out further outside my comfort zone and push myself a bit more past the university level. Um, and then getting the opportunity to go to Florida State was like the first step towards that because I thought, well, I'm going to be away from home. I'm playing at an elite level with elite players. Yes, I've also got studies, but I also might have like other things going on in my daily life that, you know, might, you know, mix and match with professional football life. Um, and then, yeah, like just learning or like learning under a new manager, experiencing their ways. Um, yeah, so like going to Florida State has like nailed it for me. So I knew from that point, I love this. I love everything about this. Um, the professionalism, the like togetherness, everything was just perfect for me. And so from that moment, I was like, yeah, 100%. There's no doubt in my mind. But when I went over there um, at first, it was literally like the size of my hometown. So when I come back, I was telling everyone about it and stuff. When I went for my official visit, and I was telling everybody about it and I was like, it's like literally the university is the size of my town. And they were like, no, it's not, Megan, that's a bit of an exaggeration. I was like, no, I swear to you. Like, I was like, it holds 40,000 people, my university. I said, and they were like, oh, and I was like, yeah, 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 it's massive. So that was my first impression of everything was like, everything is just huge, like 10 times the size of everywhere else, like houses like greens obviously the university itself like even shopping centers and and stores that you go into to buy like clothes like just massive I would always always encourage those to go abroad and thankfully through me being at Florida State and then Mark needing more international players like I've linked like I've linked up with Megan Conley and then she's been to Florida State and now Heather Payne's at Florida State which are both Irish international so like it's amazing to see that it's still carrying on like that culture still carrying on so yeah I would just say to people like you can always go there and if you don't like it, you can come home like no one's going to keep you over there do you know what I mean at the end of the day um so I would always always encourage those to go abroad